Hi everybody, it's Rabbit here, and today I have a tech tip for Windows 10 users. Now, if like me, you have Windows 10 and you like gaming, you may have noticed that sometime this year your game started performing like crap. A good example here is last year my Grand Theft Auto 5 was working absolutely fine. Then sometime this year, my Grand Theft Auto 5 started stuttering, especially online. I would get pauses every five minutes, so it was completely random. Sometimes I could go 30 minutes or an hour without seeing any issues. Other times, every five minutes, the game was freezing up uh, for up to five, six seconds at a time. And when you're playing in a PvP game online, you really don't want to be freezing when you're flying, say, a buzzard and you're surrounded by people with heat seekers. You know, you're going to die every time. And it was doing my head in. I uninstalled drivers, um, I reinstalled them, I cleaned out my system's cache and temporary files, I reinstalled my uh, video card drivers, and nothing seemed to work. Pulled the card out, made sure that it was dust free um, in the cooler, and checked it wasn't overheating, and removed overclocks. Did everything humanly possible to rectify the problem. You know, went through all the troubleshooting tips. And then one day, I sat there and just had a brainstorm with myself and thought hard and long about what had changed with my computer around about the time that the game started doing this. And then I had a bit of an epiphany. The thing was, around about the time I started having these issues, the Windows 10 Creator Update came out. Now, as many of you know, I'll either use OBS or Shadowplay to record my videos. And the thing is, with the Windows 10 Creator Update, we'll go here, right-click your Start button, go to Settings. Windows 10 Creator Update added this here, the Gaming option, which has the Game Bar, Game DVR, and Game Mode. And that seems all well and good. But as you'll see here, mine's off. But when I first opened it up, and I don't use the game bar or any of its functions, I had noticed this was turned on. Now that's not so bad because you've got to manually start and stop the recording, but I'll leave it off anyway. The real issue, I believe, um, <laughs> if I can click on it, because my mouse has just decided to be a spaz, let's move the battery around a bit, um, is here on Game DVR. If you notice, it has this option here, background recording, which is very similar to the action replay functions of Shadowplay, for example, or NVIDIA Share, as it's called these days. And this too, by default, was on. Now, it also has much longer recording times, but this basically, as it says, records in the background while I'm playing a game. And as it says here as well, this may impact the quality of your game. So it seems insane it was turned on by default. Uh, I don't know if this is the truth for every install of this, um, but if you're having problems with your game, come in here, especially if you're using other screen capture video recording software like Shadowplay. This should work for any sort of video card. If it's if you're using um, Fraps or OBS, anything that's recording to your hard drive while you play, because this damn thing here is also recording at the same time in the background. Now I disabled this, I got back into GDA Online and my other games are having issues and they're all working perfectly now. So this was clearly the culprit. So yeah, if you're having issues, if your games are pausing and stuttering and they never used to do it before, come into this thing here in your settings and damn I'll turn it off. I think a lot of people are experiencing this and don't realize they're experiencing this uh, because I know a lot of people don't even realize this game function exists in the Windows 10 because they just, you know, everything's automatically updates and they don't get in the technical side of things but this is what I mean about uh, every time I say know the hardware you've got know your software know everything the way your computer works um, but yeah this will completely fix it if this is the cause but yeah if you're noticing stuttering in GTA um, since around about the beginning of the year onwards when it previously worked this will definitely fix it if you turn it off especially if you are using those other sorts of uh, video capture as I've said because essentially you've got two recordings going at once possibly to the same hard drive or two different hard drives and yeah the system resources sort of spaz out a bit um, and yeah and this and this will fix it I mean Microsoft it says here this may impact the quality of your game so I'm surprised that Microsoft had it turned on by default but yeah turn it off and yeah it's like anything you should only have one type of software like this running it's the same as people running multiple antiviruses you don't run three or four antiviruses at the same time you run one because it'll bulk your system down 
and it's the same sort of theory. And yes, I have actually seen plenty of people out there that run several anti-malware programs or antiviruses, and it's that real-time scanning just bogs the system down, four or five of them doing, checking every file and everything at the same time. And basically, yeah, it's the same with this DVA. You can't be recording multiple different video formats and stuff at um, once. Anyway, that was my tech tip for the day. Um, I hope it gets you back to smooth gaming. And if it's helped you at all, yeah, leave a comment, like, subscribe, all that usual YouTube um, guff. Uh, um, or don't. <laughs> but yeah, if this has helped one person, then my mission is complete and I'm happy. So, yep, this is Rabbit Out. I'll catch you around on the next video. You take care and have fun. Keep on gaming. Bye-bye.